right, let's take a look at your forecast. Man, it got hot yesterday. Ooh, look at the highs. Sure uh, we are among the hottest temperatures we've had so far this season. You have to go back to mid-July when we had the highest temperature recorded so far this summer of 96 degrees at PTI Airport. And only three times now after yesterday have we gotten to 95. So very warm and steamy. Burlington was had a high of 96 degrees, well above average temperatures, not quite record setting, but the high for yesterday's day was 99, set back in 88. So uh, certainly uh, temperatures uh, don't get get that warm that often and usually we're on kind of on the downswing temperature wise the uh, peak average high for uh, the summer is in the middle of July when the uh, average high for about two weeks is about 88 degrees for those dates and that's been steadily coming down so this heat stretch again a little unwelcome this time of year but temperatures are going to start coming down little by little this week and a lot more uh, by the weekend. Early morning temperatures are getting ready for school, maybe camp, maybe the pool today. Uh, temperatures will start out in the 60s, lower 70s across the Triad along the I-40 corridor, uh, Lexington at 70. Uh, clouds again coming in. There is a bit of a mid-level disturbance moving northward. It re really is. It's kind of a, a moisture-rich area that's moving from Georgia into South Carolina and could bring a few scattered sprinkles. We'll talk about a 20% morning rain chance. But it won't be much more than a few raindrops and certainly won't be the heavy thunderstorms that we had in the triad yesterday afternoon. Those expected to come later on today. Uh, this afternoon, they'll start to fire up. I think peak in the evening and what has been the case the last few weeks is that they die down around eight, maybe nine o'clock. They may have some staying power with that mid-level support coming in uh, from the southern states and at least for the triad could keep a few uh, showers and maybe even a few thunderstorms around past 8 o'clock, perhaps uh, 9, 10, even 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, temperatures up near 91 down from yesterday. We will see a decent mid-level cloud deck and some patchy fog in the area developing in a pretty short window this morning. 40% uh, rain chance this afternoon for the foothills as uh, we start to see some rain coming in from the north as well. That should fade relatively quickly a bit later this evening. And then a high of 84 in the mountains. Best rain chances will be around the mid part of the afternoon and then fade pretty sharply from there. I think that evening rain chance will be from this system coming out of uh, really South Carolina during the day today and kind of pivoting through parts of the, uh, the southern triad. And rain chances uh, Wednesday also begin to uh, kind of day down, lay down a little bit before they start to increase again for Thursday and Friday. So we've got a lot of movement parts in the next few days. Each one has the capability of producing some showers and storms. I think the two wettest days will likely be Thursday, perhaps even into Friday. But beyond that, the weekend does look better, not only from a rainfall standpoint, but from a temperature perspective as well. Drier air should move in behind the Friday front and drop temperatures into the lower 80s for Saturday, Sunday, and even for a few days next week.